Check it out, guys. We're with Hayes today. We're on a special mission. Hayes is going to adopt a cat. We're at Cat Haven. But he's a little big for me. Yeah, he's he's a chunker. I want to get a cat and I can toilet train. Oh, so they're all they're all in the box train, but oh, you mean oh, you mean like oh wow. Yeah, he's a toilet. Have you ever toilet trained a cat? I have not. So I heard that cats can steal a baby's breath. Is I, that a... I've never heard that. Never once have heard that. How do you get used to the smell in here? Well, I had coronavirus, so that's pretty much all but gone. It's very reduced, so I don't smell it as... So I <laughs> this is the that. perfect job for you then, right? Uh, can cats... Uh, share the coronavirus? Like if a person with coronavirus touches a cat and the other person touches the cat, will the coronavirus germs be on that cat? Do not, I do not believe so. And honestly, it would be, coronavirus is a very rare exception that it was a traffic junk, but it's like, um, they have like them having a cold. If they have a cold, you're not gonna get the cold. It's two different. It things. doesn't uh, transmute from doesn't species transmute. Not to, to my species. Knowledge. I've heard some, some isolated cases of it with more or less with big animals, with tigers and such. But not to my knowledge, I've never heard anything major, major about that. We, and I feel like as many cases that we've had, unfortunately, you would have heard something by now. Uh, that's uh, Sorrel. How can you tell the difference? Seeing the light, it looks, like it, it looks kind of brownish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other one. The other one. Alright guys, I think Hayes did choose this black cat. What makes you like that one so much? Because he's passive. He's very um He's like you. He's not passive. very yeah. He looks like he'd make a good house cat. Wouldn't cool. tear up the place. How do you set your uh, adoption fee at ninety-five? when other places are so much lower. So the reason being is that they are, because of all the testing and all the treatment that goes with them, so they get spayed and neutered, so they are neutered, they get the rabies shot, they get any kind of medication they need, they get tested, the form one, the full cell, to make sure that they don't have anything. And it's also, part of it is because we are a non, we are a non-profit, so we, so this helps keep, keep center running and getting all the meds. Meds are not cheap by any means. Especially with the mess we got, we've got everything from antibacterials to antifungals to antivirals. And we also say that your cat does get sick. I say in the first two weeks, you know, she's getting a little sniffles. You come to us, we will give your meds to you absolutely free. So do people still get their cats declawed, or is that a thing, or do they want you to do that here? Unfortunately, they do. We've had, in fact, we had somebody who adopted three cats from us, and all, got, all three of them declawed, came back for a fourth one, and we told them, nah, we're not adopting. We're, oh, so you guys do declaw? No, no, we don't. But they, they went, I went outside and got theirs declawed. Oh, okay, people okay. People will go out and they'll, even though we tell them, it would be like me taking a cleaver to your first knuckle. Right. Oh, no, I, I would never agree with that. In and fact, what if they get loose in the wild? And they can then, defend themselves. Mm-hmm. And I will say this also, New York actually made it, it's a felony to get your cat to caught. They, yeah, they outlawed it completely. Oh, well that's good. Every state. It is animal cruelty by and large. So what do you think about that one? We should be toilet trained? <laughs> 